Hey there, Batman fans, this is Wesatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mattel's DC Comics Multiverse Batman The Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman action figure. Uh, this is, I guess, maybe a year or so after they released their uh, Superman and Batman Walmart exclusives. Maybe not quite a year. Maybe it hasn't been quite that long. Um, but this is a, what seems like mostly a new sculpt, as opposed to the others, which were uh, just built off of the Motuk bodies. This seems like it's got a lot of new parts, if not completely new parts. Um, box itself, uh, it's got the red motif that we're used to from the line, DC Comics logo at the top, some nice uh, Frank Miller art down here. I'm assuming that's Frank Miller, I believe that's it, because you got the wrinkles over here and kind of the stark face. I think that's all Frank Miller. Uh, on the back, we've got a shot of Doomsday, the other figures in the line. Um, nothing weird about this line in terms of what figures you need to collect, it's all shown right here. It's not like the uh, Suicide Squad line where different figures will give you different parts and you don't know which one to collect. They they got this one right at least. Um, over here on the side we've got more of that art and down at the bottom we've got a real name, base of operations, and after 10 years in retirement Batman returns to take on the violent mutants plaguing Gotham City. So very cool. I'm a big Dark Knight Returns fan so uh, I'm excited to get this guy out of the package and see what he's like. Here we have armored Batman out of packaging and uh, I gotta say the guy's pretty cool. I, I do like him. Um, in addition to the figure, he's got these uh, Build-A-Figure pieces, which is uh, Doomsday's head with his new uh, kind of ram-like horns on the side. Kind of interesting. And we've got uh, his um, waist piece. So, yeah, pretty cool. Not a lot of um, painted detail on these, but they do have uh, a decent sculpt. I actually really like the sculpt on the face. It's very uh, cartoony, kind of onslaughty. Uh, that Moderera type exaggerated look, so pretty neat. I like that. Uh, and the figure himself, um, the first thing you'll notice when you start kind of moving him around is he sort of feels like a Build-A-Figure. And the reason I say that is because if you see here these seams in his legs, if you flick on them, you know that this is empty plastic inside. So there are parts of him that feel like a little hollow um, when you're used to having the uh, Motep figures feel kind of um, solid and brawny. He does feel a little bit um, fragile by comparison, but I don't think he's going to break. Um, it's just that's that's the kind of plastic quality feel you get out of certain parts. So yeah, this, this dude is really cool. Um, look at his face. Great Frank Miller grimace there. They did a really good job on the sculpt. Uh, the nice little shortened pointed ears, the armor. If you can see it, there's uh, this is like a gray color and there's kind of some blue uh, airbrushed onto there to give it a, a nice uh, kind of a textured layered look. Very neat. Um, lots of great sculpting all around. We've got these big um, armored sections here. You can see it in his fingers. Uh, his hands are all completely armored. Everything is superbly detailed. He looks really, really good. Uh, the belt is all well done, down to the uh, legs and everything. The uh, cape is that rubber material, and it moves very easily. And on the back of the legs, you see more. And this is my favorite part. Uh, the boots actually have the huge cleats on the bottom, uh, which are solid plastic. Very, very cool. They didn't uh, go like rubber on them or anything. And then uh, we've got peg holes in the bottom of the feet. So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. This guy looks slick. Uh, I really, really like it. I think I was a little concerned uh, seeing it in package that it wasn't going to look good in hand, but I think it must have just been the lighting because it does. It looks really, really sharp. His uh, Sonic gun is here and has its Mattel China logo right there on the side. Uh, and a nice little uh, magazine to drop. Uh, some buttons and whatnot on the sides. Very, very thick, which is awesome. Like, this thing has very little flex, so the odds of you getting one warped in the package is much lower. So very cool. It fits in his hand somewhat well. His hand is kind of open, uh, sort of generically, so it doesn't look like it's just a gun-holding hand, which is cool because you can use it for other poses, and his finger can fit in the trigger guard. So the only downside is that you can see it points down a little bit, so you have to kind of raise his arm a little bit uh, higher than you normally would in order to get a convincing... Uh, gun pose So yeah, but still very very cool accessory um, That's a neat point in the book when he starts to fight back. So I really really like the look of this guy 
Um, in terms of articulation, uh, it's fairly standard Motuk. Um, some of it's more hindered because of the uh, new parts, but we'll we'll show you that. Um, we've got a ball jointed head, and you can feel the ball joint move. And downward is pretty good. Back is not great. Uh, side to side you get some, but because this is a rubber overlay piece, like you can press in on this, um, some of the motion is hindered, but the down is good, which is, is really good, which looks great. I like it a lot. Uh, swivel hinges in the shoulders. These are, the arms and almost everything is new pieces. I think the only reused piece is underneath this uh, breastplate. So um, the uh, arms go out to about there, not bad, and you can't see the joint from the top, so that's kind of cool. Um, you get swivels in the biceps, or above the biceps. Um, you get a hinge joint right there, and you can see where they've notched out a little bit of plastic to uh, make the room for that joint. And it, uh, it works okay. Um, it does not get 90 degrees, but you don't really fully expect a character this armored to get uh, that kind of range of motion without doing some serious damage to the, uh, the uh, sculpt in the process, but still, uh, I think it looks good. Uh, swivels in the wrists. We've got a hinge in the midsection, which you can kind of use. Um, it, it works decently, I, I'll say that. Um, you push forward, you can see his uh, the whole section is kind of rising a little bit, so be careful you don't break it trying to bend him forward. And then you've got back a little bit. So you've got a little rocker action in there. Swivel in the waist. Uh, these are typical Mattel hips, uh, the Motuk hips, but because this uh, diaper, rubberized diaper section right here is so big, it really blocks the motion going forward. So you get almost no motion going forward, and back you get very little as well. Um, out to the side you get a little bit more, but I really am worried about that joint breaking when I move it, because this is, this is just, I think, a little too thick. Maybe if they had hollowed out that plastic a little bit more, you get a little more range of motion, but it is what it is. Uh, you also get swivels up here. There's a swivel right up here underneath the uh, uh, swivel hinge joint. So you got a swivel there. Very nice. Uh, you've got a hinge joint in the knee, and it gets you close to 90 degrees, but not quite. And you do get calf swivels, which I always enjoy. And then hinges in the ankles only go back about that far and only go forward about that far. And it's a price they paid for the armor. You probably could have carved a little bit more out of the foot to get it to work better, but uh, they didn't. So, no uh, swivels down here, no rockers for the ankles, which is unfortunate. I would have liked to have seen those, but, um, you know, it's it's Mattel. They're, they're still trying to figure out the collector market after all these years. Um, but yeah, still, very impressive looking figure, even if he isn't quite up to par in terms of articulation. Now, to give you a sense of scale, I've got him standing next to Carrie Kelly, and you can see just how tiny she is compared to this guy. He is absolutely enormous. Um, these Motuk figures tend to be closer to the 7-inch range, and he is about to the top of his head, about 6 and 3 quarters, and his ears would push him up a little bit past that. So uh, he is a very large figure. Um, if this is in 6-inch scale, then that suit makes him really big. Um, but considering that it's the Motuk body, I'm assuming that um, it's it's really not too much bigger than a standard Motuk figure. You know, I've got uh, uh, Elephant Face here, uh, Snout Spout, <laughs> couldn't think of his name, and uh, he's a, he's about right on par for that that wave or that that line. So, yeah, scale wise, um, he fits in with the other figures of this uh, line, but he might be a little massive compared to your DCUC figures, which are just a hair smaller. So what do you get for your money? Uh, for $19.99, you do get uh, the Batman action figure, you get the Sonic gun, you get uh, both the Build-A-Figure or Collect and Connect pieces for the new Doomsday. Um, altogether, he's a pretty decent value. Like I said, his articulation is definitely not uh, to super articulated uh, standards of the day, but he's still a great looking action figure. Like as he is right there, that's exactly how he's gonna look on my shelf. And I think he's gonna look great. Uh, granted, you won't be able to recreate all of the poses from the comic book of him fighting Superman, um, but you'll probably be able to create recreate a few of them. It's, it's not terrible. Uh, just looks-wise, though, they really did nail this guy. I think he looks fantastic. Um, if the uh, 
if they keep going forward with this line, which I don't know really how many they have left to make, it looks great. I think the aesthetic, they've, they've nailed it for this. So uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this figure, even despite all of his flaws. That's it for this review. And if you have any questions or comments, please throw them in the box below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Um, if you uh, would like to see more Mattel DC Universe Dark Knight figures, uh, throw me a subscription and I will put them up as they are released. As I said, I haven't found Mutant Leader yet, but I am looking forward to them when I do and I will review them. And I just really appreciate you, appreciate you guys showing up. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.